day one of the trailer conversion to a camper. And I just cleaned it out. It's an old four by eight travel trailer that my dad had in the backyard. It's the Eco Light little guy. It's been sitting here for quite some time. And I'm gonna convert it into a little camper because it's not doing anything, so why not? So this is the beginning of my kitchen for my tiny covered trailer camper conversion. Uh, I'm using an old butcher's block um, as my countertop. And this is gonna be my sink. And so I'm basically gonna cut into it like that. Have that sunken in. Have room for a faucet here. I'm gonna have a single burner uh, butane slash propane cooktop right there. It's gonna look uh, pretty sweet once it's done. Uh, just a little update video for my kitchen for my camper build. I cut the sink into the butcher's block. Came out very nice. And right now I'm making the under cabinet for it. So I have somewhere to store my silverware and stuff like that. And now I'm about to stand. Alright, and now it's the stage that makes me nervous. I'm going to be taking it off this door so I can uh, take it apart and put in a door right there in the center of it. But first I have to take it apart to see what the framework on the inside looks like. Yeah, it should be fun. Alright, so I took the door off, took the back skin off, and now I'm looking at the framework. And I'm going to have to frame it up so that that door will work with that. So I'm just gonna run some 2x4s right there to support that going down and then tie it into the door. And I'll still have support there, support there, but that way I'll just make it more rigid. And so I gotta replace this wood because it's all rotted at the bottom. Alright, so I marked out where I need to cut into the tin side. Like that, it's a little more off to the right because of that latch mechanism. Um, I need to have some room for the handle release for the fold door. Well, it's coming along. All right, so I made my first hole to get the snips and start snipping out this. All right, so another update. Um, I cut out the center aluminum. As you can see by it being over there, and framed up the sides so that the door will be strong once I cut out the center supports. And I just have to do the other side, and then I'm gonna sneak in some insulation under this so that's nice and insulated. All right, so update of my camper build. Um, I got my door framed, and it's just sitting there. It's not actually. Uh, screwed in or caulked or anything um, because I'm gonna clean up all this stuff Before doing that all right, Another update. I got the insulation in the walls That way it stays nice and Warm and or cool Next is cleaning up the front just making a before video before I forget to do that with the addition of the outer walls before I clean it Alright, so this is the update of me cleaning the front of the trailer, or the back door of the trailer, to get ready to put back on. Um, cleaning up pretty nicely, all I did was use a degreaser at the moment, um, like, and the polish. So, mm -hmm. this one used to look like that. So, I cleaned it up quite a bit, still needs some more work around the edges. I think I'm gonna patch that with some paint. And then, uh, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but so this is the top plate. See how it's not very shiny? And then this is the side plate. See how shiny it is? And that was just one pass with polish. So it's definitely gonna clean up really good when I hit it with a buffer. But yeah, so pretty soon it's gonna be all cleaned up. Then uh, all that's left is cutting out the hole for that putting it on there and then doing the finishing touches and mounting it of course and sealing it. 
and I'm still in the process of staining. Uh, they're actually coming out really nice, nice and shiny. Uh, it just needs a few more coats, and then I'll be able to assemble, figure out my mechanisms and things. All right, so I finally got the back panel glued and nailed in, and it looks really sweet. I'm very happy with the way it came out. It's not perfect, but I mean, you can barely tell any imperfections. Next, I'm just going to wait for it to dry, and then I'm going to drill out all the holes I need for my bolts from the other side, so I know they're perfect. Alright, all right, so just to give you an update with the kitchen progress, um, as you know, before I drilled the hole in the countertop, and now I made the bottom cabinet, well, drawer area, so of course I need to put the bottom in, but actually quite nice it's uh, actually soft clothes so it won't, won't slam I do need to figure out a magnet system so it doesn't open while the camper is in motion um, and I'm also gonna have these well these are gonna be stained but these are gonna be the front legs for the cabinet and then the back uh, part is gonna be actually mounted on the wall of the camper and that's where my silverware and other kitchen stuff to go well whatever I can fit in this decent size drawer then the cooktop is going to be here it's just going to be a single burner okay another update I drilled all the holes I need to drill around the door and next step is going to be running this tiny door in there and making it watertight then mounting it to the trailer so the door is finally mounted in the frame and it opens which is pretty sweet like a door should it actually freaked me out because I thought I twisted the frame and the door wasn't open but it turns out the deadbolt was just uh, locked Yep, so next is just silicone, and she's good to go. Alright, so the door is finally mounted on the trailer. Uh, I mean, I still have to add hardware and seal up everything, but it's on there. And it functions. <laughs> now it's gonna get really dark. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Yep. Open. Closed.